Hey, so a couple of days ago, we finally saw the launch of Nothing Launcher and what this experience will bring with Nothing Phone 1 coming towards the summer of 2022. Now, currently, the launcher is only available for Galaxy S21 and Galaxy S22 users from Samsung, as well as Pixel 5 and Pixel 6 users from Google, as well as OnePlus devices coming very, very shortly. Although, if you do have access to the APK file, you can pretty much run it on any Android device. I think you need Android 12. I'll leave a link down in the description for the APK file and I'll also towards the end of the video show you guys this launcher running on the Oppo Reno 7 Pro which I have so you can pretty much run it on any device. Now as far as the launcher is concerned, it's pretty bare bones, fairly minimal if you ask me but that's because this is a first generation product, a first release and hopefully nothing tops it up towards the end of maybe this month and over the course of the next month towards when the Nothing Phone 1 launches. Right off the bat, the experience is pretty smooth, but that's because there's nothing really that's in the launcher inherently aside from the experience and also because we're running this on top end hardware. The Galaxy S21 FE has the Snapdragon 888 processor or the Exynos 2100 depending on where you are, so it's obviously going to run fairly well. The settings are pretty simple. There's this one notification dot option, which when I click doesn't really do anything. So that could be a future release coming up. And overall, in terms of customization, you can customize how your app icons look and also your app grid layout. So that's pretty much all the styling you can do so far. There's also a few native widgets included that borrow nothing's design language. You've got two clock widgets as well as a weather widget. You can customize them. You can make them look translucent, transparent, but that's about it. There's nothing really to change the color and the overall theme of the launcher is that there's nothing to it, no pun intended. Like the widgets having this resizing option, you can also resize your icons as well as your folders. So you can have some large folders or large icons on your home screen. I don't know how great or how useful that could be. Perhaps if you have multiple applications in one folder, having a big view of that could be useful, but I really wish there was a middle ground to the size. There's either this huge um, icon on your screen or there's a very tiny icon on your screen. I would have liked to see a medium sized icon version. Maybe that could be something that nothing could look towards implementing. And yeah, then there's the pre-included wallpaper set. You get one that comes default and two others which you can download from Nothing's website. This is what they look like as well as three ringtones. And I'm gonna have a listen to all three and you guys can tell me what you think about the ringtones. They're pretty out there, pretty abstract, but that's what Nothing is going for. So yeah, have a listen and let me know down in the comments. Okay, so to wrap up my experience, it's pretty normal. There's nothing really outstanding about the launcher as of yet. I would have liked to see more implementation of Nothing's philosophy into the launcher, whether that could be things like a custom icon pack or even some more widgets. The clock and the weather widget is great. It's a great start, but I'd like to see a bit more. And I'd also like to see a few native applications sort of coming on over to the launcher experience. So Nothing showed off this recorder application which had some customization and UI elements which I found to be pretty cool. You can check out that video which I made a couple of weeks ago from the card above. But sort of those things being included in the launcher is what will drive people to appreciate this Nothing launcher. So far, there's nothing really uh, telling me to switch to this launcher. It's pretty bare bones, pretty stock, minimal. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for a few releases to come. And like I said, it runs fine on any Android device. I've tested it on the Oppo Reno 7 Pro. Uh, here's me running Nothing Launcher on the device. Of course, you can check out the APK file once again from the description down below. Just make sure to have Android 12. I think that is a prerequisite for this launcher. And yeah, it's a pretty, pretty minimal tease, but hopefully over the next weeks, as I said, we'll see more. Up until then, thank you guys for watching. Do subscribe for more videos and do like the video if you enjoyed it and comment down below what you think about the launcher. This was Vabov and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.